What's going on folks? Eric Landlord Flipper right here. Just gonna show you uh, basically just a, a typical Saturday for me, about to head out to a property. Guy said it's either an apartment or has rooms for rent, so um, about to head out there and uh, let's see what's happening. Looks like we just pulled up to probably one of these houses right here. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, call the owner right here. Uh, let them know I'm here and uh, find out which building it is. Gonna go in, take some pictures, video, start marketing it, and I'll let y'all know how it goes. So folks, I was actually incorrect. It's not those uh, buildings right there. It's actually uh, this house right here. It asked me to rent out uh, rooms, and that's something I typically don't do. But he basically has the property under contract to sell, and the property was full previously so he needs to get it full again to fulfill his contract so he basically has uh two finished furnished rooms renting for 450 a piece and an unfurnished room renting for 400 took a little sneak peek video so i'll put that in here for you guys to see so basically if i get all those rented this week which i hopefully should be able to because he doesn't even want a, a background check as far as credit he just wants a criminal search uh but the only thing is also it's just for uh men only so i'll be putting that out there you'll be seeing my ad and uh now i'm actually about to head over to my brother's football game Just left the football game. Brother's team is up 35-7. About to go 7 no. Uh about to go see another property. I'll see you at the property. Alright, so just pulled up in the 700 block of 36th Street. Um, about to go in the house, that one right there with the white door, and um, see you in a little bit. All right, so we're about to go up in the house here. Um, I did kind of walk through just to take a look, just for all y'all. It's basically standard three bedroom, one bath. Walk through, basic kitchen, you know. It's not updated very much. Make sure I lock the door right here. All right, cool. So I'm not gonna go downstairs because um, there's really no lights down there. It's just a uh, basement it has to get a little cleaned up. So you can see the carpet probably needs to be uh, done. Uh, upstairs. I'm sorry, it's two bathroom, two bedroom. Bathroom. So I'm probably gonna tell the owner needs to get a, a good cleaning. Alright, one bedroom, carpet, like I said, needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna let him know. You see this air conditioner for when it gets warm out. So I'm gonna let the owner know that. I'm not gonna do a video for this property just because it's not a real good, it's not ready yet to do a video, but I would show it because it's just carpet, but just don't think it. There's nothing real special in here that brings it out, but Eric Landlord Flipper, I'm signing out. Let's take you on a tour of my day. The light's kind of shining right there. I got my, my big head right there. All right, so I'm um, signing out. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Eric, your Landlord Flipper, back. Uh, hope you enjoyed uh, my video yesterday in the day of the life of. 
Uh, I'm just going to try and begin a series just showing you everyday flipping landlords and just how I do my business uh, just to help you get started with your flipping landlords business. What I wanted to talk about were the two properties that I showed you yesterday and how uh, I got those landlords to contact me for them to get my flipping landlord service. So the first property, the rooming house that had two furnished uh, one bedroom rooms for $450 each and one unfurnished room for $400, that owner contacted me from a real estate investor message board. Essentially a lady posted uh, asking for assistance finding qualified tenants for a couple of her properties about five weeks ago and I responded to that ad on the message board and he in turn saw that and contacted me five weeks later a couple days ago as you saw I met him at the property and now I have about three to seven between three and seven people coming to look at those three rooms so uh, you know with those three rooms uh, being fully rented 450 for two of them that's nine hundred dollars and then the other one unfurnished for four hundred that's a thirteen hundred dollar payday so I should be able to get that wrapped up in a couple days and I'll be sure to take you out to the property tomorrow when I show the property to those uh, folks I just talked about. The second property that uh, I shook, took you to on 36th Street was a property I got from uh, my property, a property manager, I'm sorry, that is also my bookkeeper. His contact information is in my Flipping Landlord system as he has numerous uh, properties that he needs filled for his property management company. So. That information is right in my system to help you get started right away just with a landlord in the Baltimore, Maryland area. So just wanted to share that information with you. I'll be soon to uh, keep, you, keep you in tune tomorrow when I go show that property and I'll see you at the property. What's going on back at uh, Poplar Terrace? Uh, scheduled four people to show, only um, two confirmed. So hopefully uh, both of them will be here, get these apps done and I will keep you posted. So I'll um, hopefully get these rooms running and make some money today. See you in a little bit. This is Eric, I'm back. Just got finished showing the property, the rooms for rent. Had two people show up, scheduled four. Out of the two, both of them uh, wanted the same room, the unfurnished room for $400. One person was all but approved uh, today. They worked as an electrician. The other person um, was not approved. They came smelling like marijuana. Either they smoked in the car before they came or their clothes just smelled like it, which both ways just aren't acceptable. So they were all but declined, so I'll let him know um, later tomorrow morning or later this evening. The other person, they'll probably do a lease signing. So uh, I just want to show I didn't do a full application, but here are pictures of just the apps. I'll blur out some stuff just to show you I was actually here. So here are both of the apps. I didn't bring enough applications. I was slacking. But since I'm just doing a credit search, I'm just gonna need their name, date of birth, and a social security number. I'm sorry, since I'm just doing a criminal search, that's all I need. So folks, two applications. Didn't make any money because there's no application fee, no credit search, but at least sign in tomorrow. I'll keep you all posted. $400 an hour, hour and a half. I don't know if you all make that at your job, but I just showed you that I just did. All right, talk to you soon. Flipping Landlords. Hey, what's going on? This is Eric, a uh, landlord flipper, and I just wanted to update you. Just saw basically uh, my first uh, a day in the life of flipping landlord series that I just did, where I basically walked you through uh, the whole process of viewing a property, showing a property, forgot to document the lease signing, but basically uh, in regards for the property on Poplar Terrace for the rooms for rent. So you saw where basically I made uh, $400 and an hour worth of work. I wound up filling two of the three rooms uh, that the uh, gentleman had available for rent. So I wound up making $850, about uh, maybe three hours worth of work. Now, you know, I, I had to do uh, two more showings to fill the other uh, prop, uh, room on Papa Terrace. So now imagine if Instead of it was rooms for rent, because I, I really don't do rooms for rent, I just do houses for rent. If that property was a, a $1,500 per month rental or $1,000 per month rental, you saw the steps that I took and, and the simplicity that it was to find a tenant and help that homeowner find a qualified tenant for their property. So instead of making $400, I would have made 
triple that or four times that amount, you know, twelve hundred, even sixteen hundred dollars. So, just wanted to share that information with you. Also, in regards to the home that you saw on Thirty Sixth Street, I believe, where I walked you through, uh, the owner wants twelve hundred. I'm sorry, fourteen hundred dollars. The property management company, and I think it should be more around a thousand dollars. So. Essentially, I'm just waiting for the management company to lower their rental price and then I'll begin marketing and showing it because I'm really just not going to waste my time and effort marketing a property uh, that I believe should be substantially lower in monthly rent amount than it is just due to the quality and uh, the location of the property. So stay tuned. I plan to do many, many more of these A Day in the Life of Flipping Landlords uh, series. Just uh, documenting a property from start to finish just to show you it's real, it's out here, it's simple, it's basic. Uh, you, you can do this. I do this all the time. Uh, I can't document every single deal, otherwise I'll be, uh, you guys will be looking at me basically, you know, an hour a day, you know, uh, when we're cutting up the videos and things like that. So just stay tuned for more Day in the Life of Flipping Landlords, and I'll see you soon.